Comrades, we're still in Serbia. Yesterday we reviewed the worst reviewed hotel in the country and then we partied, obviously. Today it's time to try the best delicacies Balkan can offer. Where? We're very hungover from yesterday's night. Our heads are about to explode, so there really is just one salvation. Good food. Let's find the worst weird restaurant in the country. Our sacred trip advisor, what would we do without you? Serbia, the beautiful Serbia restaurants. And let's look for the worst one in all the major cities. I'm checking all the boxes here. Well, not deliveries only, we want the real restaurant experience. Niekto sa tu snaží robiť vado, chod si ho do kúpeľne alebo do piče. Kurva. Alright, this is gonna take a while. Give me a minute. The only restaurant with a 2.5 star rating and more than 10 reviews in the entire land of Serbia is called Minuta, which I think means minute, and it's not in the capital but in a city of Novi Sad. Huh. Can't say it doesn't look appetizing, it seems like a normal fast food. Hold on, is this Big Mac? Looks like a Big Mac, but it's obviously some Serbian version of it. Huh. Hmm. Looks pretty good. Oh, so this may be the reality. Damn, looking at this picture with a hangover makes me want to puke. All right, let's check our favorite, the reviews. The girl who served us didn't speak English and kept mocking us in Serbian. The gyros was basically the worst I've ever eaten. The wrap was disgusting too. Don't spend money and time by stopping to this restaurant wannabe. Pizza is always cold, stays there forever waiting to be sold. Burgers don't taste good at all. Gyros is worst I've ever had. Probably the worst pizza I ever eat. Very dry and tasteless. The pizza arrived cold and late and price is too high for that quality. I ordered Caesar salad. The staff wasn't sure if there's any Caesars left. Two of them said that there's none left. Then one of them said that there is. And when I got home, I saw that there was no rocket, croutons, or cheese in scissors. I've eaten there a few times and regret it each time I did. My stomach hurts in a weird way after eating this food, so definitely not recommending. There are a lot of different fast food restaurants with a little bit prices, but you can eat their food without thinking you could get some disease. I usually eat fast food after a night out, but I'm not sure about this one. The food is apparently cold, dry, and disgusting, and it's safe to say that Minuta can only surprise us. Let's get some dry burgers. Vlado, Vlado, pojď sem, pojď sem. Štartuj Ladu a ideme do Nového sadu. Jakú Ladu? No však včera, čo sme kúpili od Turkov. To už nemáme. Nemáme? Nie, čakaj, ja by sme si mohli ono dovoliť. Predáme. Ti jebe, ty si predal auto, ty kokot? A to jak sa máme dopraviť do Nového sadu z Belehradu? Kámož Ludo, tu na motorkárskom zraze. Na čo nám pučí? Na motorkárskom zraze? To akože nejaký Harley Davidson a tak? A keď začo? Tak Harley Davidson? Môže byť? Prečo ja furt naletím, furt naletím tomuto priebancovi? A ty čo čumíš, ty si motorkár? Ty si tak zápalkár, ty kokot fúza, ty piči v tomto sa iba pochváľa. Piravel man kalipu, garavel man varoveš, čuriba vlal kurdela man odel man žutila. Piravel man kalipu, garavel man varoveš, čuriba vlal kurdela man odel man žutila. Sovjarel man evriga, šajavel man osuno, medesova vlošarel te man de odeloro. Before we arrive to Novi Sad, a quick word about our sponsor, whose funds allow us to do these crazy things. Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. 
In other words, it offers thousands of classes for creative and curious people on topics like film and video production, writing, photography, graphics design, and many more. In the previous episode of our show, I told you I was taking the Learn Adobe After Effects for Beginners class by Jordi Vandepot. Well, I finished it, and the map animations that you saw in the motorbike scene were actually done by me. After years, I finally learned the basics of Adobe After Effects. And you could learn something you always wanted too, because the first 1000 people that click on the link in the description will get a free one month trial. It's never been easier. You can simply try Skillshare and see if it meets your needs without paying anything. But you need to be fast. Go and try it now. Skillshare, thank you once again for sponsoring the entire season of the Worst Reviewed Show. And now let's go see the Worst Reviewed Restaurant in Serbia. Welcome to Novi Sad, Serbia's second largest city and home to the worst reviewed restaurant in the country. Minuta is actually a fast food chain. There are four Minutas here and we're going to the poorest rated one. We deliberately skipped breakfast, so we're starving, but I'm not sure if this food is gonna do us any good. Let's go! Pizza, sandwich, onion rings, chicken nuggets, pancakes. I want to try everything. Hi, do you speak English? Okay, so uh, can I have gyros, the smallest one? Pizza, the one with sausage is good. The ham sandwich, and you have also salad, right? Greek salad is good. Is it from today? Okay, so also Greek salad because we're starving. Yeah, of course, of course. And you also have nuggets? Oh, yeah. Okay, so also nuggets. And then definitely we want to try the slane palacinke and also one slatke palacinke. Uh, Maybe after that we come back, but for now it's fine. Did I order a burger? Oh, no. Well, I'm definitely going to order one on burger. The beef one. And that's it. Oh, and you also have onion rings, right? Well, we're definitely taking them as well. I'm sorry, I'm gonna pay that by on, well, with cash. Thank you very much. We ordered basically everything they have. This is gonna be a very, very comprehensive review. So this seems like a typical fast food, nothing special. I was very surprised that the staff was able to speak very good English. That makes it really, really easy for us to confront them at the end. They didn't seem very happy with the order because they need to work a lot right now. We're also the only ones here. I'm not sure if it's because it's Sunday or if it's because we're in the worst reviewed restaurant. And I really like that because we won't have people staring at us while doing the review. So let's just wait for the food and feast, hopefully feast. The screen just beeped, our order is ready. This is just one fourth, I need to come back. <laughs> minuta, minuta. I feel like an American food reviewer or food blogger. We have basically everything Minuta offers. We have the burger, onion rings, we have salad, we have chicken nuggets with fries, we have sandwich, we have the gyros, pizza, salty pancakes, and we also have sweet pancakes. Definitely doesn't look as bad as the picture on TripAdvisor, the dry burger picture, but it also doesn't look like spectacular. It cost about 23 euros, I think that's a great price. Five or six people could easily feast on this. Man, that's like four euros per person. Incredible. All right, let's do the most important thing, taste test. The strategy is pretty simple. We're gonna start with the worst things mentioned in the reviews. It's definitely gonna be the gyros and the burger and then pizza. Let's try the gyro gyros. I don't think it looks bad. Looks a bit dry, to be honest. That's not a good gyros. It's extremely salty and very, very dry. The fries, oh damn, they are so dry. Let me try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
for me it's tasteless. I really hate the fries inside. The fries are yeah. so dry and salty. It's the worst gyro slash kebab I've, I've ever had. Moving on to the burger, which looks dry as well. Look at the bum. Okay, bacon, some sauces, probably mustard and ketchup. Yeah, cucumber. Is it bad? Yeah. This is not a good burger. <laughs> Even in like fast foods, burgers are usually rich in flavor, but this is kind of tasteless and so dry. What kind of bacon is this? And it doesn't seem cooked. The bacon should be crispy, but look at this. Cheese is burnt on the sides, like really burnt. I'm not enjoying a fast food while starving. What is crunchy inside? Oh, yeah, I know nothing. <laughs> Comedy gold. You're learning fast. The beef is tasteless in my opinion. Not seasoned at all. I think burgers are usually accompanied with onion rings, so I'm gonna try it. Damn. I wish I could say something positive about this so far, but... The flavor of onion is so yeah. strong. I really hope that this pizza will save it. What's in the middle? Is that a pepper? No. Still dry? Well, it's not dry because there's a lot of ketchup. It is edible. Let's say it is edible. I hate to say this, but it's the worst fast food I've ever had. Try the pepper. You're into peppers. <laughs> what? <laughs> is it spicy? Yeah. This taste really bad. I don't know what is it. Oh damn. How can they put this on pizza? Hoo-hoo! So Vlad thinks it's not a ketchup. It's tomato. It's tomato soup. This is a great food for drunk students coming home from a huge party. Completely wasted. And if that's the purpose of this fast food, I applaud. Each piece of food tastes better than the previous one. So I think so we're... So the pancakes will be excellent. Yeah, the pancakes will be exceptional. Exceptional? Exceptional. What is exceptional? I learned that word from a book I read. Exceptional. Like, speak English like a normal person. I'm sorry, Peter. All right, moving on to the salad. This was the last salad they, they had, and it's a Greek salad. It looks really good. Like, what do you expect from a fast food salad? On the other ink. Very bland. Okay. It's just pieces of vegetables mixed together with olive oil and balsamico, and that's it. What can I say? I wish I, I could find some positives. It is so tasteless. I mean, if you're looking for low carb, low calorie, low price, and also low taste meal, this that's is it. good for you. That's good for you. I think the balsamico is actually saving the, the meal a little bit because at least something has taste. You want to drink it? Uh, yeah, when we run out of Sprite, we're gonna, we're gonna drink that. What's next? I the sandwich. Not, okay, sandwich. The sandwich. Nuggets. I would really appreciate at least some, some sauce or something wet inside. Okay, there's probably butter or cheese, but again, why so dry, Serbia? Why so dry? This is like eating desert the Sahara Desert no taste and it's so dry so so dry why I'm gonna put the tomato soup inside to make it bearable the whole globe is getting more and more dry and also food is getting more and more dry global warming caused this we're having four drinks here we need them for this kind of dry food what's that a bread oh <laughs> Oh, that's so fucking dry. Usually when I go to fast food every once in a while, I know it's unhealthy, but it's a guilty pleasure. 
I know it's greasy and I shouldn't be eating it, but at the same time, it's really flavorful. This is not an awesome taste we're having here. It is, I suppose, unhealthy, but at the same time, it's tasteless. So what's the point? Next on the menu are the chicken nuggets, fries and the burger sauce. All right, this is not bad at all. I really like the sauce. Yes. The fries are the same, they're dry as fuck, but hmm, these nuggets. nuggets with this sauce, I prefer these to the McDonald's ones. If you ever end up in Minuta, have to try this. Yes, we found something good here. Time for the salty pancake and the, the tomato soup. <clears throat> okay, it's filled with chicken, cheese, and I think that's it. Mmm, this is not bad. The combination with the ketchup slash tomato soup really works. It really works. I was right, we're moving up, the quality is getting better. Definitely more great than Cheribo. I'm really looking forward to this one because out of all the meals, this one looks the most appetizing. The only sweet thing on the menu, the sweet pancakes. I don't know what the filling is, but we're gonna find out. Oh, it seems it's filled with some chocolate cream. Mm -hmm. It is very, very sweet. It's good, but it's very sweet. It's definitely edible and I like it. Try vlog. You really like sweet things. Yeah, because I'm sweet. Exactly, that's what I implied, because you're sweet, not fat. Such a sweet boy. Mm. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, you like it. Yeah, right? I like you it. Like that's this my one. favorite. This is my favorite. Okay, you can have it all. Oh, lot. Fuck's sake. I hate when I have to bitch about something, so I was like, damn, I'll probably give one star to this place. But this place is not getting one star, because of the last three dishes that saved the day. All right, should we have ice cream? Excuse me, can I have ice cream as well? All right, we got the ice cream. First he put the vanilla ice cream into the cup and then I think he put mixed fruit jam on top of it like a marmalade. And then he poured chocolate on top of that, so that's strange. Jam with ice cream. Mm. What's this? Yeah, it's a gem. That's gem. It tastes like a gem. Strangely enough, it works. This you know is the thing. kind of guilty pleasure I want when I want to get intoxicated with sugar. Mixed berry gem with ice cream and chocolate. We're getting diabetes after this. Ladies and gentlemen, we finished the pancakes. We finished the nuggets with, uh, with the fries. The fries were a challenge, but we ate them thanks to the sauce. We had a few bites from the burger and the salad. We just cannot continue, we're, we're so full. So let's just confront the staff with the fact that they're working at the worst reviewed place in Serbia and ask them why do they think that Minuta is the worst reviewed place in the country. Ugh. Could we bother you for one more minute? Okay, so we're making an internet show and we're visiting the worst reviewed places in Eastern Europe. And according to TripAdvisor, this is the worst reviewed restaurant in Serbia. We just want to like know why, because it wasn't that bad. It was fast, you were really nice and helpful. Some of the foods we didn't enjoy, but some of them were okay. So why do you think people dislike this, this uh, restaurant? The cashier explained that the problem was the employees that worked in the restaurant in the past. Their low salary, which is unfortunately very common in Serbia, didn't motivate them to care about the customers, they were constantly messing up the orders and they weren't following the food preparation procedures. After the explanation, the other cashier finally turned the loud radio down so I could end this voiceover and get back to the video. When we came here, this was disaster. Like seven seven workers were working here, third shift, they didn't clean anything. Okay, 
So, like so they were just coming to work and let's let's just make some money and we don't care about the customer. But your service was really nice. I, I really enjoyed it. That's why I'm asking because I probably wouldn't rate this rate this as the worst reviewed restaurant. So that's why I was asking why. And now I can understand because a lot of the reviews are from the past when the situation was, I suppose, worse with the seven workers that did not care. So do you think it's improving or no? I mean, we are trying our best. Yeah. We, we went through exit, we went through everything, like we worked, we worked really much, but like we are trying our best to, uh, to provide the best, the best service we can for the people. We don't argue with them. If we make mistake, we, we pay from our own pockets. Like yeah. it's our fault. I completely forgot to tip you. It's fine. No, it's not fine. Where, where do you have like a tip jar? Okay. No, please don't. This is my tip for you. It's fast food. You are not so responsible for the food because it's like pre-cooked. A lot of the food are like the nuggets are pre-cooked. You just put it into oil, right? Yeah. But again, the customer service was nice. It was fast. We were not waiting for it. So I just want to tip you. Where should I tip you? I, co I forgot to tip you. Well, we just collected you. Yeah. That's my tip for you. And I hope Minuta will not stay the worst route place. Maybe a little bit more work on on the bumps and the pizza because they were dry. But other stuff was pretty good. The sweet stuff was pretty good. Okay, good luck in the future. Thank you. Good luck. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank so you. Much. Good luck. And good luck. And Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. If I was Gordon Ramsay, I'd probably have a cardiac arrest here. But if I was a student with low income, I'd make Minuta my second home. I know some of the meals were not really edible, but some of them were great, they were cheap, and we haven't waited for a long time to get them. Considering all the factors, I'm giving Minuta three stars out of five. I know some of you are saying that's a very generous rating, but as we say here in Eastern Europe, I don't give a shit. Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this episode and check out our new merch. Link is in the description, we're shipping worldwide. We're leaving the Bliatifu land of Serbia. Thanks for watching. See you in the next country. Hvala.